the MCI. No problem. Right, I'm arresting you on suspicion between November 2016 and October 2017, conspiring to import and supply Class A and B controlled drugs, conspiring to import and supply firearms and ammunition, money laundering that you suspected of converting and transfer criminal property and removing criminal property from England and Wales, knowing or suspecting that representative of your own or another person's criminal property. Portion. You don't have to say anything, it may or mean authentic. You don't mention when question something that puts you later on the court, and anything you do say may be given an evidence. Okay? Right. And he's just come up here now. That's okay, great. Yeah, that's out. Did you hear what I said then? There's three offences. This is what the colleague's got to say. It's just three offences in total. Conspiring to import and supply Class A and B controlled drugs, conspiring to import and supply firearms and ammunition, and money laundering offences. Caution, you do not have to say anything, it may or be defensive, you don't mention when question something which you later rely on the court, and anything you do say may be given evidence. Do you understand that caution? You do understand that caution? Okay, you can't even reply to that. No, I can't. Yes, people. Thomas Bomber Cavano, the top man in the UK for the Kinahan Criminal Empire, has been jailed for 21 years after importing cocaine and cannabis worth more than 30 million. He masterminded a commercial scale smuggling operation in which drugs were hidden inside machinery as judged it. A business was used as a cover until the authorities intercepted one of the shipments at Dover five years ago. The National Crime Agency said that Cavano, 54, was the top man in the UK for the Kinnan Organised Crime Group which operates in Ireland. Himself, along with two other men, Gary Vickery, 39, and Daniel Cannon, 43, admitted at an earlier hearing to conspiring to import Class A and B drugs and money laundering. Cavano, described as the leader of the group, blew a kiss to family members in court as he received his sentence. Fickery, who was next in the pecking order, was jailed for 20 years, while his subordinate Cannon, who also admitted possessing a firearm and ammunition, was jailed for 19 years and 6 months. Their operation was described as a carousel of drugs in a cash-out, as machinery filled with the drugs entered the UK and would leave with money inside. A business was being used as a cover for the importations, and premises were leased, I suspect, for that very purpose, Judge Martin Levette told the sentence in hearing at Ipswich Crown Court. Irish police seized documents that identified a UK-based freight transport company in January 2017 and made a number of arrests in Dublin, confiscating a significant quantity of firearms and Class A drugs, a prosecutor previously told the court. The National Crime Agency started an investigation in 2016 and in October 2017, customs officials at Dover seized a consignment of 15 keys of cocaine and 200 keys of cannabis concealed inside a large 6-ton tarmac removal machine. The shipment that had a tracking device was due to be delivered at an industrial unit in Wolverhampton. The NCA also raided two industrial units linked to the group, one in Wolverhampton and one in nearby Wednesborough. A gun was recovered from a lead line compartment inside a transformer at the Wednesborough unit. At, Vic at Vickery's rented address in Solihull, just outside Birmingham, the NCA found 25 barrels of boric acid powder, which is often, which is often cut with cocaine, along with £43,000 and £100,000 in euros. Small amounts of cash, phones and encrypted communications devices were found at Cannon's home in Dickens Heath, also in Birmingham. Cavana, originally from Dublin, ran his criminal empire from a luxury gated fortified mansion in Tamworth, Staffordshire, complete with reinforced doors and bulletproof glass, according to the NCA. 
When the NCA raided the property in January 2019 after Cavana's arrest at Birmingham Airport, they found weapons including knives, baseball bats, swords and an illegal stun gun for which he was previously given a three-year jail sentence, the NCA said. About 35 grand in cash was found in various denominations, with bundles of notes hidden throughout the house, in bags and drawers, even shoved down the back of a sofa. The deputy director for the NCA, Matt Horn, said their organisation was able to organise, import and distribute drugs worth many millions of pounds into the UK through their connections overseas. Their transport infrastructure, which they used again and again to import drugs into the UK on an industrial scale, using legitimate hauliers but also front companies to hide their activities, he said. Their international criminal operation spanned the continental Europe and the UK. There was evidence of their criminal activities taking place in Spain, the Netherlands, Belgium, Poland, Germany and Ireland, the NCA said. The Kinnigan Group is an Irish criminal network. That's it. Yeah, that's it, people. Like, subscribe, check back for more, yeah? Peace.